Fei, you know, we have that same absolute level of pedigree. But I will say, not not to, you know, just immediately hyper-focus on Tekken Master. It's just we haven't seen him compete in quite a while at this point. But against Masha, who is a super solid Kenshi, who is kind of part of the gang of Kenshis at UFA. For those of you not here, there's basically, you know, the players are staying together in various hotels and accommodation, whatever. There's just like a house of just full of Kenshi players. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just all staying together. You got Falk, you got Babs, you got Masha. Dante Demons is here as well from the UK. And that's just to name a few. There's more Kenshis in the bracket. But what I like though is Masha still playing the Kenshi Cyrax. So Cyrax obviously nerfed quite a lot in the first patch. And a lot of characters have just straight up stopped playing the cameo, it seems. Um, however, Kenshi is not one of them that has had to stop. Remember, for, for Kenshi, the cameo exists primarily as a means of enabling Sento stance. Oh, the punishment doesn't happen because the Kano knives. But basically, the nerf to Cyrax makes the chopper cost the whole bar. Kenshi doesn't really have to care about that as much because he's still going to do the chopper, get out Sento, and then it's the same thing anyway. So to Kenshi, it's not quite as bad. Oh, nice catch. Drops the combo, that is unfortunate. That is how you bring yourself back into this match as Kenshi. We still have the Sento, but now Tekken Master not interested in being anywhere near. And Masha spending the final bar of meter just to reset, because if we are going to make a comeback, it's going to come from the spirit. Now, the way that Tekken Six Master... Six seconds, yeah. five. The way that Tekken Master is playing this matchup is not a surprise. It's Kenshi five, is five, one of the strongest five, characters in the game, for sure, five. but... Really kind of needs to be point blank to make his game work. I know the kind of balance stance has the kind of like longer range options, but I feel like if he's down on life, it's kind of difficult for him to chase you, especially oh, if you're a is. character with good runaway movement. And Raiden Kano, this is a team that's very obnoxious. I'm gonna put it that way, right? It's, it's a lot of chip damage even still. Pokes into Storm Cell, Kano's making it safe. You can hold Kano to make it plus. This is definitely a character that is just going to do what it wants, when it wants. And it's up to the opponent to just deal with it. Attack and Master, very good with characters like that, historically. And all this offense, what is it going to do? Build back Kano. And the second we have Kano, it's time. We bring out either the Knives or the Kano Ball. Most of the time, the Kano Ball, if it's going to be the down back three here. Oh, the no! Oh, there's been some execution trouble from Masha this whole game. However, look, if we're going to bring a silver lining, at least it's game one. You know, if you're going to sharpen up and you're going to get those combos back and ready, combo that would have started maybe a comeback, dropped, and in the second game, at least a side switch, a chance to uh, get the corner. Did you see that? Oh, Raiden was charging the projectile and the Kano knives went through him. Did anyone else see that? I'm not going to lie. I was talking as the match started. I was looking at you. He is the chosen one. <sighs> Raiden. I hate fighting this character. <laughs> Sounds like a you problem, bro. If I play Sub Zero Darius at the moment, this team is difficult. Okay, that's definitely a you this, problem. This team is difficult. Hey, uh, we'll talk about that later. Oh, what a round for Tekken Master. Looking good. Looking good. And it's going to take a while for that Cyrax to come back. Thankfully, though, if you land a considerable hit, it is going to be just the vertical chopper. So it is only going to take half of it. The question is, though, who's going to get the hit first? Oh, right and now. now we're reaching that next level where we're cancelling Kano after the down back three. We're running in and throwing. We've hit the next layer. Well, that's the thing, right? Kano is such a, a, a fantastic match for Raiden currently. If you want to play the kind of, you know, vanilla MK1 style of just thing on block into chopper, into, you know, storm style into safety, you're basically doing the same thing with Kano. At the very least there, Cyrax sponged the knives. At least Kano didn't hit the Kenshi and that wasn't a full combo. True. Speaking of Kano, here we go again, but Tekken Master playing it smart. Don't Again. really need to go back in now. We can just disengage and let Kano build once more. That's Get out of here, Cyrax. This is the significant kind of life feed you want to just hold against Kenji, though. Because again, you know, he's, he's such uh -oh. a strong character, but if he has to spend the whole game just catching up to you, it's easier said than done. Oh, extensions, we can see the electric flight. Oh, oh no, we're not. No. Let's do a fatality. And that's not just MK1, like period, <laughs> in any game. Tekken Master is a man of efficiency. I want to... Oh, spending the whole thing, but no Sento activation! I will say that the execution errors for Masha really are holding him back the most here. Again, the hesitation to finish, you do to respect the Kano, that was smart. Because that's an, a real dangerous element to the Raiden Kano team, is Raiden's electric fly teleport. I mean, look at this. You don't see Kano throw him, but nope. I, I guarantee you, if we're seeing Tekken Master go for a teleport or, or an electric fly, those knives are following. I genuinely believe Raiden might be even scarier post-patch now players are not using Cyrax. And I know that I might even get blown up for thinking that, but this character with the Cyrax, damage, Ooh. chip, sure thing. Ooh.
but with Kano, you're still getting combos. Yeah, not as much damage, but you still got the safe down back three, and you get in when you want. And it, that, with Raiden, is so much more difficult to deal with. Well, the thing opinion. is, even pre-patch, that was the dynamic. A lot of characters were using Cyrax for safety and massive damage on hit, and Kano was always just giving you a very obnoxious oh. way in. And that's still the case now, obviously, <sighs> minus the damage. Against Raiden, though, with Kenshi, the moment you get any breathing space, to just disengage, back off and use Electric Fly, that Sento really has to work to get a hit. And, oh, oh, to confirm, meter spent by Mashia, trying to go for one of those cheeky last minute repositions with the Sento stance, but it doesn't look like it's working out. And now you've got no Sento activation, you've got no range, and you're stuck fighting Kano and Raiden. No this reversal is either in worst the stance, case scenario. No reversal in the stance means that Tekken Master can kind of go ham with the pressure. Good overhead. Okay, go, I like that. Takes the opportunity to go back into balance. Smart. Oh, that doesn't kill. No, you're alive. Flawless block this. Your life depends on oh. it. Oh, oh, didn't see the fail. Blood to chase it down.